увеличение военнослужащих не по This is the debut of the newest Tu-160M, Russia's strategic bomber model in southwest Russia's Kazan city. The Tu-160M is an upgrade of the Tu-160, a Soviet-era supersonic strategic bomber and a nuclear carrier. So far, Russia has produced three models in the Tu-160 line, with the two others being delivered in 2000 and 2008. At the event, President Vladimir Putin praised the supersonic strategic bomber after watching it in flight, saying it would beef up Russia's nuclear weapons capability. Under a contract signed, 10 of the modernized Tu-160M nuclear bombers, codenamed Black Jacks by NATO, will be delivered to the Russian Air Force at a cost of $269 million each, between now and 2027. This is a serious step towards developing a high-tech sphere and strengthening the country's ability to defend itself, because this is one of the components of a nuclear triad in the air. It is a landmark. We will continue. Aviation is the future. Military aviation in order to secure the country's military capability, but also civilian aviation. But we need to. We'll discuss this. We need to think about similar planes for civilian purposes. Now we need to sign the contract, 10 planes. Each one is 15 billion. More than 15 billion comes up to 160 billion. The plant will be busy until 2027. There is a lot to do here. The Tu-160M is capable of carrying 12 cruise missiles or 12 short-range nuclear missiles and can fly 12,000 kilometers non-stop without refueling. A Russian expert speaks on the latest project. Our latest project is the 3D of the Tu-160M3. It is also the first digitized design from our country. Our layout design and 3D design are going hand in hand. The first time that 3D design has been used on this type of aircraft. Away from the strategic bomber to China's newest model of its homegrown Yilong drone. The drone, developed by the aviation industry of China's Chengdu Aircraft Design and Research Institute, is capable of conducting several military operations, including reconnaissance, air-to-ground attacks and monitoring. It is anticipated that it will be widely used in the army, anti-terrorism, stability maintenance and for border patrols. The Yilong ID drone was developed in line with customers' demands and has a moderate cost and good capabilities. And that's all on the program. Thanks for watching. I'm Bukala Joe Oketumbi.